Lego fans like me know that if you have one Lego box, you have a million Lego boxes. Lego boxes take up a ton of space, especially when there's no Lego in it. But if you're a hoarder like me and saves every single package you've ever got Lego in, you're gonna wanna keep your boxes. Well, this video is gonna be your solution. Gluing your Lego sets and mocks protects them from breaking, but it stops you from ever using those parts again. Lego allows you to glue and unglue your Lego sets so you can keep them safe, but use the parts again in the future. Visit the link in the description to learn more and check out Lego in all its glory in my Lego video. Subscribe to BrickLover18 for more daily Lego videos. All you need to do is get your pile of Lego boxes ready. You'll need to grab yourself a big old X-Acto knife as well as a much larger Lego box that you can use to store the new boxes in. Preferably like a modular style or a big creator box. How I store my boxes is very, very simple. All I do is use my X-Acto knife to cut the tape off the end of the boxes, flatten them down, and shove them into the larger box all together. That way I can get almost a hundred different Lego boxes in each larger box. It saves a lot of space and I get to keep the boxes as well as all I have to do is put some tape back on the boxes and then they're perfectly good condition again if I ever needed the box in good condition again. I don't know if you ever would though. You may have your doubts and think that you may not get a lot of Lego boxes in a big box like this, but trust me you will. I've been using this method for years now and so far I've been storing hundreds of Lego boxes this way. As you can see my Ninjago box is getting kind of full so that's why I'm starting it in the Lego Creator Ferris wheel box. And as I mentioned I have at least two or three more boxes the same size as the Ninjago or like modular building size about three of them probably in storage in my basement storing hundreds of Lego boxes. It's perfect because I'm not throwing them out and I still can look at them whenever I want. Thanks everybody so much for watching. I hope you found this video very helpful so now you know how to store your Lego boxes. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like as well as subscribe.